Hello everyone, my name is Diego. Hi, I'm Conchita. And today we're going to talk about the holidays and disabilities. It's been super long since we filmed the video, yes. but uh, better late than ever. Yeah, so we've been thinking, you know, the holidays are coming, it's getting a, a little colder, um, and families can be really love-hate relationship in lots of identities, but especially with disability. Um, and what that means. So kind of for you, Diego, what has been your family's perception of disability or interacting with you with disability? Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's interesting. Um, I think I've told you this story before, but um, for the longest time, my parents wouldn't let me use a wheelchair. Uh, they would say that using a wheelchair, um, because I had the ability to walk, using a wheelchair would make me lacier and sort of weaker. And so for the longest time, I was sort of, I would even say to myself, I could never use a wheelchair, I should never use a wheelchair. And so that was really hard because there, there would have been some times, especially traveling, that I would have really benefited from a wheelchair. So when you started to use it more often, how did your family react to it? Um, my dad was particularly scared that uh, that I was going to rely on it way too much. Um, but I think, and I was scared of it too. I mean, yeah. and even like we have talked about, uh, well, I have talked with other friends like Andy, who's like, oh, I'll never get a power chair because I will gain weight and stuff. Like, yeah, it's a real concern. But I think it's a concern health wise or like ex exercise wise as opposed to the stigma around the chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. How was yeah. it you with the cane? Um, so definitely when I was younger, um, my mom's really religious. Love you, mom. Um, mm. And she definitely took me to, like, become cured through the church. You know? Oh. So, like, these, like, where they place your hand, their hands over you right. and pray for you. Um, so I think that was kind of really traumatizing. <laughs> and, um and so, you know, my parents didn't know. Right. And so now she's really proud of what I do and, and definitely very encouraging and stuff. But when I first started using my cane, I felt really nervous being around my family because I wasn't sure how they were going to react to it or right. if they were going to be weird. Um, I do have one family member that's like, oh, you don't need to bring it. Put it away. Why Why do you need to bring it? Like, you, you're you fine. It. Yeah, I don't see the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's definitely kind of trying to negotiate those spaces and especially around the holidays people get more helpful in ways that sometimes aren't helpful um like people will be like oh it's so great that you have a disability how can we help you and so i'm like well actually you can do x and y but i feel like over the holidays there's this sense of like poor disabled people we really need to help right, them out right right so i think Another thing that would be good is like, what can we people do if, if the holidays is like a stressful time? Mm -hmm. um, I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah. Um, I know for me, um, communicating with other people that are like minded, because um, sometimes being with family the whole time can be really overwhelming and really like anxiety. And so I try to make an effort to like hang out with my friends and be like, I'm gonna be back or. Um, you know, talk on the phone or text people that are kind of through similar experiences. Right. And some people have very toxic family relationships um, for different reasons, and one of them being disability. And so for those people, I think it's really important to find other... And it's families. funny because my, I've noticed, now that I go back to Mexico, back and forth, my dad does all this, like, all the time. He will help me in things that I don't need help with, and I'm yeah. very independent. And I'm like, Dad, I can do this myself. But... At the same time, you're like, okay, you know, like, he's just trying to be nice. But I think recognizing, like, what your boundaries are and being able to say, like, I can do this or, mm -hmm. you know, is really yeah. important. So we'd love to hear from y'all and yeah. your experiences with family, good and bad, uh, based on disability. Um, and what do you do over the holidays with your family to kind of make sure everyone is on the same page, so. And in case we don't post another video for six months, happy holidays, <laughs> yeah. have a great day. Happy New Year. <laughs> happy Hanukkah, happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. No, we'll try to, we'll try to post. Once a month. At least once a month. Yeah. We'll try to be better at that. <laughs> Ciao. Bye.